Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see what is half wave rectifier and how do we build the circuit in MATLAB to get the output. So here we'll be using a normal PN diode and uh, this will be the voltage, AC voltage and this will be the output waveform and this will be the input waveform. And first let us understand what exactly is a rectifier. A rectifier is a piece of electronic device, a circuit which converts AC to DC. It does not fully convert into DC uh, as we need uh, after this rectifier we need filtering circuits also. Uh, what we can say is pulsating DC and there are many kinds of uh, AC uh, rectifiers also. So uh, in order to get a proper DC, DC we should get a proper straight line but here we are not getting the proper straight line and we will be able to get uh, using the full wave, uh, full wave rectifier that is uh, the bridge rectifier as, as well as the filtering circuit followed by filtering circuit. So this is the voltage input and this is the positive uh, side of the diode and this is the negative side of the diode by the diode uh, conventional symbol and this one is the load resistance where we will measure the output. So this is the positive half cycle and this one is the negative first half cycle. So let us assume that during the positive half cycle, first positive half cycle, this one is positive and the diode acts like a closed switch. Okay, it will act like a closed switch and then the, the, the circuit will be closed and we will be getting the output at the load resistance. And in the negative half cycle, it reverses and this will be compressed and this one will become negative. So it will act as a closed open switch. So in the open switch, there is in circuit is incomplete and the circuit will open, there will be no output. And that is why we are going to get zero on this region. By combining those two input and the output, what we will be able to get is, we will be uh, visualizing the both the graph over here. Uh, this is the input and the output we will be getting it has uh, just a moment. Okay, if this is the input. The output will be like this. Okay, this is the input, input and this will be the output. So we'll be doing the circuit in a MATLAB Simscape. So without wasting much time, let us start it. So I have opened this MATLAB simulator. So let us go to the library browser to get some blocks. So first thing I'm going to need a uh, voltage source, AC voltage source. So uh, always remember for doing things on power electronics, we need to choose the power electronics blocks itself. Here also we'll be having a voltage source, which is blue colored, which is which we should not be using it as it is power electronics. That is just the electronics simscape block. And the next one is diode. And this electronics should not be chosen. Uh, this tool should not be chosen. And I'm going to use the power electronics version diode and this is the negative and this one is a positive and see and I'm going to need a resistor block so I'm going to add a series RLC and then I convert into a resistive circuit first I'll rotate this yes and I'm going to convert into the resistive circuit and the resistance I'll just leave it as one ohm and I'm going to name all the blocks And I don't require these two blocks as well. And this one also will not be requiring. Uh, but I'm going to require a voltage measurement device in order to measure the voltage at input as well as the output. So I'll just copy this two, two times. Yes. And I'm going to complete the circuit first. And I'm going to measure this at the input. This one I'm going to measure at the output. That is at the 
load and i'm going to make rename this as output voltage output and this one as the input okay and i'll just try it over here and i'll go and switch over to ac block and i'll just type the peak amplitude to be 220 volts and the frequency to be around 60 hertz itself uh, and we can change the parameters and uh, i'll see running it very for a very short period of time uh, that is why I, i'll be changing it to 60 itself so uh, and one more thing we have missed uh, since we are using the power electronics blocks we need power gear block okay and now yes it is fine and now i'll be running it for very short period of time i'll be running it at point 0.1 Yes, and I'm going to open the scope block and from there itself, I'm going to run it. Yes, I'm running it over this symbol by clicking. Yes, and now we can see the waveform and both are clubbed together. So I'll just go to view and change the view layout. Yes, and now we can visualize the wave clearly. This is the output and this is the input at the bottom of the screen. And clearly we can see that only when it starts uh, the eight half cycle, the output is zero. Uh, we can visualize it properly by going to the measurements and uh, cursor measurement. If you have chosen for 10 seconds, the default line, if we will not be able to visualize it properly. Uh, that is the reason I have chosen it to be low or you can reduce the frequency also and i'm going to adjust this also now oh, we can see that this is the region when it starts zero over here negative half cycle and ends over here that is the region where we get output has zero uh, this is how we'll be able to do this in MATLAB and uh, thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions.